Welcome back to another flip video. Today we're going to be looking more at alignment. We're going to be using alignment in our next project. Our next project, as many of you know, is our zine. I'm going to be designing a typographical layout to our aphorism. So on the left, as you can see as an example, someone who just typed out a caption or a heading. And on the right, is someone who designed one. Notice that some words are bigger. We have large word, people. We have regular text on average. And then we have the small text. That's what we're going to be doing. And we're going to be lining it in our design. So let's take a look. So you could have what is known as center alignment. And as we take a look here, everything in this design pretty much is coming in the center. And also notice how they are squishing small lines of text inside where you might have descenders. Then they have regular text, large text, nudging in those small pieces of text in ascender areas. So we can have left alignment, center alignment, center alignment, and we can have what is called right alignment, where the words are pretty much on the right. As you can see here, call being our small text versus our big text is fit, is being squeezed in or fit where we have an ascender, the L. And our X height, where the E and X is, gives a spot just for a call to kind of get nudged into. And then here we have our imaginary line on the right. So you have to decide which one you think you would like to choose.